Welcome to the show. I'm Corinne. And I'm LaShondra, and together we're KNL Everyday CNA. Let's talk about breath. There's good breath, but there's also bad breath, known mm -hmm. as halitosis. Bad breath is temporary. Halitosis is a chronic condition caused by tooth decay, debris on the tongue, and gums. Mm -hmm. Yeah. August the 6th is Fresh Breath Day. LaShondra and I wanted to make sure the subject was discussed. It is very important that CNAs have the skills and training they need in order to provide the service that we care for, or we will be speaking about like we are today. Yes. Important mouth care is very, very important. Most residents are unable to brush their teeth or the ability to take care of their dentures. The CNA is the primary one that takes care of this need. Oral care is very important to our elders. It affects their equality of life, overall health, and well-being. Yes. Having tooth loss or tooth decay can cause gum disease and dry mouth. Mm -hmm. Did you know that your mouth actually carries millions of bacteria? Some of the bacteria is good, however, the others are not. It's a daily battle that we as CNAs must help fight. Yes. I mentioned the word halitosis. Halitosis is a very serious condition and unfortunately most of our elders do have a problem with this. CNAs must make the time to check and perform mouth care after each meal, doing AM care and PM care. Yes. Make sure to brush the, brush the top and bottom teeth as well as the tongue if possible. Also use mouthwash. When you're brushing, take note if there is any damage done to the gums. If there is redness, any open sores, or sore areas to the touch. Look for teeth that are decaying or maybe have been broken off. Sharp could cause damage to the tongue. Yes. Look for loose teeth that could cause a choking hazard. Mm -hmm. Make sure the dentures fit properly. Before placing the dentures, make sure that they are clean, free of all debris, as well as the gums. If there is redness, sore spots, or open areas, take note when placing the dentures. Did the person pull away or would they not open their mouth? These could be signs there is a problem and they are unable to communicate with you. Do not take it as a behavior. Always double check and report. Check lips and inside the cheek area for redness and sores. Have they been packing their food? Check the roof of their mouth as well. Right. Dentures should be properly labeled and dentures must be labeled with their names. Never use someone else's as well as other personal items such as toothbrush, toothpaste, or denture cups. And like she said, never use other residents' items or family members' items. Replace toothbrush every three months or sooner after an illness. We cannot stop repeating ourselves how important this skill is. It is vital that we take care of their oral needs. If you are not uncertain about the skill, please reach out and ask for guidance. Yes, a smile is a beautiful suggestion. It's your trademark. Let us help the ones we care for keep that trademark. Let's make sure their smiles are contagious. Come back next week right here on CNA TV. Have a great week.